Yes, we're here at the uh, University of Guelph, the School of Engineering, uh, the Albert A. Thornborough building. But uh, yeah, this is where I spend probably a third of my time trying to balance uh, school, get an education. I'm currently enrolled in water resources engineering, set to graduate uh, at the end of 2018. So that's really exciting because everybody in my cohort had graduated two years ago. <laughs> as much as, as my education gets in the way of, of training and trying to uh, be a professional, athlete. It, it, it is something I do enjoy. Uh, while I'm here at school sometimes I'll, I'll go use the uh, athletic center and the gym facilities there and I, luckily I got a locker here in the engineering building so I can, I can keep my stuff there in between classes and it's, it's really good with, uh, with schedule some year and other times it's just it's a nightmare with scheduling. Um, since about second year I've been taking reduced course load so it, things have gotten a little easier to manage that balance but Definitely in my, uh, my debut year as a freshman, uh, engineering really put the nail in the coffin and twisted the screw going into second year. Camping out in the middle of February gardening, it does not sound fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's good. Paragon, bowl, or dragon Have bowl you ever bowl. painted it? No, I never painted it. That was one of the things, because uh, Nicola, Nicola Wen, my, my girlfriend and I, were in uh, East Res um, in first year together, and that was one of the things we like, oh, we'll get out, we'll get our floors together and uh, come out and paint the can, but it wasn't that it, there was no interest in it, just, uh, just you know, time, busy, assignments, tests, and before you know it, you're in fifth year, and you still haven't painted the can. So, <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. Food prep, food prep takes a takes a bit of a hit. Takes like, poses a massive challenge when it comes to, to being um, well prepared and trying to balance that school like athlete lifestyle. Like I watched, I watched Nicola just trying to get through vet school, and you know, like it's hard enough for her to do food prep for herself, and she's just doing school. That being yeah. said, I've got like a quarter of the classes and workload that she has. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, trying to train and trying to trying to like then take that and go make some food and trying to always eat healthy. And I was cutting some weight off in the fall and trying to be prepared for all that. It's just uh, it's next to a nightmare. The worst, like the worst days, are when Nicola and I both have crazy busy days. Yeah. And uh, like I'll get back from. Like I'll, I'll go out and whip, whip up my ride as early as I can and then I come back and uh, like I don't even come back I just go like straight to school yeah. and pound out a couple hours worth of uh, work there and before I know it it's like oh it's dinner time. Normally it's uh, a mad scramble, rush from class, jump on the bus, whip home, pack a few donuts into your face and go for a ride. Yeah. Jelly filled. <laughs> Always jelly filled. Always jelly filled. <laughs> Thank you.
the in the spring and fall time, you'll typically see people playing frisbee and uh, football, and also people will string up slack lines to play on. There's, I saw there was one guy who had like a 200 foot slack line happening. It started out this high, and then when you get to the middle, you're almost touching the ground. I missed, I missed getting on that by like two minutes. Right when I came running out of my dorm, he was packing up, so that's too bad. But yeah, this is uh, where a lot of people have their biology labs and uh, some kind of tutorials here. So I'll see you guys later. It's more of a challenge because there's guys who, who aren't in school, aren't trying to put in, like, we're, like even, even reduced course load, you're still three, four classes a semester, you're still in class eight hours, nine hours, ten hours a week, depending on labs and stuff, and trying to get everything done, and it's, uh, it's hard to get in 20 hour, 22 hour training weeks on those weeks, and yeah, absolutely. That's, the, that's the challenge. 